So now we're going to do the same thing as we did with the master pyraminx. We're going to do a professor pyraminx reduction to a jinx pyraminx. Just to show that it just takes a little bit more time, but it's still the same thing. The difference now with this is we actually have to do uh, we actually have to do um, center reduction. Center reduction is easy. We've got the centerpiece here, and we simply put these into position. So if we were to do the yellow one, let's rotate this here, put the yellow one in, bang. Find the other yellow one, which is somewhere here. It's right here. Move this in, boom. So that's in. Uh, we can do this one here, blue. Just match it up. Find the other blue here. Turn this. It's not going to affect your previous... Um, center and just move it in and now we've got this one we're down to the last two the last two is easy we want to move this in so let's move this to a point where because when we move this in it's going to bat this one out right so whatever i move in i've got to move back so i'm first going to move this into a place where this is already um where this is the same color it's equivalent so move this in bring this in line to take the other green and then move it back so there you have center reduction easy stuff right okay this up over here. Uh, okay, now for, for edge reduction, uh, first thing we're going to do is we, uh, we want to coordinate the puzzle. So what I'm going to do is put in all of my center, uh, put in all of my edges here because I don't want to turn them. Right now the centers are fixed. So I want to make sure that these are coordinated correctly so that when I put these in, I'm not affecting the centers. Okay, so same kind of thing. You can see that this red and blue is already matched up to here. So I'm going to find the other red and blue. And that is right over... Oops, did I miss it? Yeah, right over here. Okay, so I can turn this any way I want. It's not going to affect my center. And I need to move this to here. Yeah, so this will come into here. Now, bear in mind, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just get three. Now, unlike uh, the master version, I can't just move it in because my centers didn't get reduced. This one did. So I'm going to have to do the whole moving it in and then exchanging it with this piece over here. Bear in mind that whatever I bump out over here, this green and red, it's going to exchange with this. And this green and red is going to come in this way, so the red is going to be on top. I like to get this green on top. I've got this green and red here. So let me roll this around. So now this will end up here, but this green is going to be on top. So this will end up here, so this green and red can match with this. So it's a way of sort of doing both at the same time. Move it in, so this is uh, reduced. Then I'm going to go down, down, up, up, and then move it back. Boom. I did bring this in over here. But let's go to the one that I reduced, or started my reduction, which is right here. Now, my suggestion is reduce the entire edge, do, the, do it in its entirety. So where's another red and blue? I should be able to pretty easily find it right over here. So this rolls into here, nope, the other way. So let's turn it the other way. Now this is easy because I, I'm not gonna get into any of these centers. I'll just move it in here, bang. The other red and blue right here, boom. So now this whole thing is reduced. Let's go to the one that I started to reduce over here, and we'll keep going on with that. Uh, so here's the other green and blue here. Let's move this in where it's supposed to be. Green and blue right here. We've got to turn this upside down. And turn. Okay. All right, so this will come into here. It's gonna bump out a green and orange. I might as well set up another green and orange. We've got one here, and it will be the green one that'll be on top. This color will end up over here to match up with this. So uh, we're gonna go turn, and then the same thing, down, down, up, up, turn it back. Oop, I miscalculated. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, okay, so here, here are my green and blues. Uh, I just have to be cognizant of the one that I already put in, which is this. So let's move this out of the way. Then I can just, well, this is wrong. So let's find the right one, which is this one. 
Okay, this is out of the way. Bump this into here. And we just gotta turn this around. And then I can move it in. And it's easier to keep track of two, so this one has to bump out of the way. Boom. Okay, so now I've got two that are completely reduced. Let's do one more. Here's a green and red. Let's find the other green and red, which is right over... What I like about these is there's not a whole lot of searching around for, for these pieces. Right over here, green and red. Okay, let's move you up to here. It's just a matter of positioning. Oh, gotta turn this around. Okay, so this green and red will come over to here to exchange with this piece here. Now this green and orange is gonna flip with something here. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. So, I'm gonna bring it down, 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 up, up, and then bring it back. Okay, so here's my green and red. This one is already in. Let's find the other small green and red here. It's right over here. This can flip up. There isn't anything else here, so boom. All right, so just like that, we have our required three. So now we take a look at what we have. Let's actually take the ones that we have left over, put them all on the same level, like this. And then we're gonna do the same kind of three cycling that, that we did. So for instance, this is upside down. See if there's something that's already here that I can use. This is also upside down. Okay, so let's turn some of these things right side up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yellow and I think that's gonna come into here. So let's go like this. And that will go like this. Okay. Nope. Let's turn this upside down again. Okay. So this will come over to here. This green and yellow will match up with whatever is here. Um, but it's not going to really matter because uh, the other green and yellow is here. So we're going to move this down. Then go down, down, up, up and then move it up. Okay, this is the other one that we're looking at. So, this is now in, and I have to make sure that the uh, other two, that the other two just have two in and we leave the last one for a three cycle. So this is gonna move into here. Let's turn this upside down. Okay, so this will come into here, that's wrong. So I gotta turn this upside down. Okay, so this will come into here, so that's good. Now, let's think about this. When I move this down, this red and green is gonna come up. And it's gonna bump this out of the way, which is good. And it's gonna come in contact with, well, it's gonna come in contact with this. And the yellow is gonna be up. So I'm gonna have two in here. But I'm not, I'm not gonna move this out here. So this will still be in. This is gonna be flipped and come over to here, but it's gonna be upside down. So let's see how that works. As a matter of fact, maybe what I wanna do instead is do this one. Yeah, let's do this one because I can foresee that being an issue with the last two. So, okay, if I put this in, I gotta make sure that I don't solve this entire one and none of this is solved here. So that's okay. This blue and yellow will mix with any of these. I kinda wanna move it out of this position, this here. So I'm gonna turn this guy upside down to move this away from here. So down, turn down, down, up and up. Okay, so, and this comes up over here. So I've got two in, one out, two in, one out, and I've got all in, but it's upside down. So what I'm gonna do about this is I have to, 
I have to just get this out. So if I move this to here, uh, this is about to be solved. So this is actually not what we want. So what we're going to want to do is when this comes in, I'd like this to be moving. So let's move these two to the back. So turn it across like this. So when you're in this situation, move this out by two that are already in, and then you want to exchange it with these with two that are also already in. So move those to the back. So we're going to move down, then go down, down, up, 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 and move it back. Okay. Move this back up. So we have two in, one out. All right, we actually solved this. Didn't really want to do it that way, but we can use this as a sacrificial lamb. Uh, I can now take this and move this into the correct red and white. So I can move this over to here. Okay, upon doing that, I can now break this one that I just put in. So move this down and go down, down, up, up, and then move it back up. All right, bring this back into play. So one in, one out, rather two in, one out, two in, one out, two in, and one out. So now we can do our three cycle, which we've been trying to do. So let's move this in. Like so. All right, so the blue and yellow are going to come into here. And what I want to uh, do is keep this on this side so this can exchange, and these two can come up to here. So we're going to go down, so this is in, down, down, up, up, move this back, and now these are all in. Okay, so these three are now in. We're just going to do the same thing with these guys over here. And it's, it's really the same process. This is already in. This is upside down. So let's turn this upside down, or right side up rather. Okay, so this will come into here. Now if I move it to here, this is going to be solved. I don't exactly want that, but that's okay to do that for now. Let's move this over here and uh, we'll go ahead and get it solved. Or alternatively, I can move this guy in. Let's turn both of these upside down. And now I can move this guy to here and it'll be in. And then this will move to here. Yeah, okay. So this will all be in. This will participate in the algorithm. This will move to here and knock this out. And uh, this will be in, but this won't be in yet. Okay, so move it in. Then we go down down, up, up, and then move it back. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four in, one out, four in, one out, and four in and one out, so we can easily do our three cycle. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, move this in like this. Okay. So this will come to here. I want to move this one that's going to participate all the way in the back. So let's turn that around. Okay, same thing. This will come into here. Down, down, up, up, and turn this back. And there it is. This is now a Jinx Pyramix. Okay, so let's line all these up. Line all my greens. All my greens here and align all the blues. Okay, so this is already in, so we'll keep going with this. Where's the blue and green? Blue and green is right here. Uh, and it's opposite, so let's do this one first. Yellow and blue. Orange, orange and green, rather, is right here. So we're gonna go up, move it in through here, up, and then across, and then down, and then back. So that gets that in. Uh, this one is upside down. So maybe we can uh, just kind of move it out. I'll move this up so that I can move this out. Turn, turn, down, across, and move that back down. Okay. Uh, 
Now we'll go ahead and try that again with the green and blue, and that's going to be here. So once again, I'm going to move this up so it can it can uh, knock this out. So up, across, down, back, and I'll move this down. Okay, so all these are in. Let's uh, move this back, and let's take a look at what we have here. So we have any that's rotated. This is rotated correctly, and it's uh, it's not in the right place. So that's what we want. So we hold this. Uh, here we hold the one that is not in the two that are not in actually and we go down down up up and that should get all of our Edges we have our centers here, and we don't have parity We could have had parity and if we did have parity that parity would have been here it would have been the same thing So we just do one 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 R U R I U I That's two and three times R you are I you are Whoop. it tried to get away it tried to escape see that okay so you can see it wasn't much more difficult than the master pyramids but let's try our hand at the royal pyramids because if you can do this the same way then no other form of pyramid should worry you